Good afternoon everyone, it's Steve, KI5JUF. So, I've got a little different type of video I'm working today on my laptop actually, because I want to show you some new things that I've uh, learned and picked up. So what we'll do first, what the, the purpose of this video is mainly to uh, introduce you to the FT991A programming software from RT Systems. And I wanted to go into a little bit more detail with the software, with some of the functions and things that it has. Uh, programming the radios, for example, uh, internet to the um, International Space Station for the simplex, simplex uh, frequency and for the crossband repeater. Uh, and the other thing I was going to go over is show you some of the functions on the menu settings that you can actually go in and, and configure some of the settings within the radio, um, some of the, the menu buttons and some of the function buttons and stuff. So what I'll do, let me go ahead and get started here. I have all of my uh, software in one folder i have a programmer for the ft3dr i've got a programmer for the 991a the ftm 3100 dr and the ftm 300 so i've got four different software suites here so i can program uh, various radios but what i want to talk about today is on the actual on the ft 991a so they actually have two programs the first program is called the programmer uh, and what this does is this basically allows you to program frequencies and s control some of the functions on the actual radio for example the uh, the function buttons on the display and, and some of those configurations and the second program we have is what's called a menu editor this also allows you to do some things but um, these are settings that you would normally find when pressing the uh, menu dash setup button um, but these are all under this program menu editor so what we'll look at first is we're going to go to the programmer, and this is the RT systems. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and this is normally what you might see when you open up the FTM programmer. I'm going to try to bring this up a little bit more. This is Screenomatics, a program I'm using. It won't let me go any bigger, but no problem. That that's fine. So what we'll do first is I'm going to show you program profile that I just worked on and that is profile number 10 and if you notice this is the way I save all my profiles is um, increment them by 10 and, and keep in mind uh, the folder that this is kept in is uh, let's see uh, yeah this this is where what they normally the normal place they keep them is in your documents folder Yesu and FT991A. Well, what I do is on mine, I actually have a place on my OneDrive that I actually keep them. So I'll show you that here in a minute. But you, you can stick them anywhere. The reason I bring this up is if you have a, a OneDrive or something, you can store them in a permanent location. So let's see where we are now. We're back. Yeah, this is my OneDrive location I have right there. You see the OneDrive ham radio. I like to keep everything on the OneDrive. That way, if something goes wrong or something, uh, then, you know, you've got everything backed up. So what I wanted to show you here is these are all my different frequencies. I've got the transmit, the receive. I've got the, uh, the 6 kilohertz, and, of course, it has the offset and the operating mode. But this is what I wanted to talk about today. Um, what I've done is I've gone in and programmed the, uh, there's an International Space Station simplex, <clears throat> and there's also an International Space Station repeater. Now, what happens here is if you're talking to the simplex channel, you have to compensate for what's called a Doppler shift. And what I've done here is I've actually programmed, there's a, uh, a Doppler shift on on the transmit and the receive, and these guys they they work together. They're they're if you look at you think of it like a like a scale, a seesaw if you will. Uh, as 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 one changes, the other one they slowly get together, and then they go back in the opposite direction. So what I've done here is I've got the ISS simplex, um, and basically there's three. Uh, it's going to be 3 kilohertz shift, um, and then there's a negative 3 kilohertz shift. So this is basically what you're dealing with. So it goes from, on the simplex, it goes from 144, 487 down to 493. That's seven units there, or seven counts. This one being the center, one, two, three. 
and then of course minus one, two, three. Now the second thing I want to show you is the crossband repeater. Now this is a repeater that's actually on the space uh, station and what this repeater does is it allows you to make contacts with other people on Earth. Or, uh, so uh, it, it essentially works the same way. The, the Doppler shift, uh, you have to account for it. Uh, and it, and the, the difference is this repeater is an actual crossband repeater and it actually uh, has a um, it actually has a, uh, uh, let's see, that's going to be UHF, VHF. It's going to be uh, V, I guess VF or whatever, v, VU is I think what they are. So essentially what happens is you're transmitting on uh, VHF or UHF, I'm sorry, but you're receiving on VHF. So uh, that's the way it works. So you know, on the flip side of that, the repeater's just, you know, shifting that back. So that's what I wanted to show you. Um, the, you know, the other thing is just a couple of things. Uh, if you're putting in a frequency, uh, what you want to do is like if I'm putting in 152 or 146.520 simplex, uh, you would just go in and put, for example, simplex. Um, and then, of course, if you were putting in a repeater, you might put in, for example, I'll grab one up here just for an example, 146, uh, 146.760. You would enter the repeater of 146. Uh, 760 and that's going to be the repeaters uh, uh, advertised frequency and of course the software no the software knows that it is actually a uh, plus kilohertz or minus kilohertz shift now the only thing you'll have to do here is on the tone you'll have to pick whether it's going to be tone only where you're sending the tone to the repeater and you do not require a tone on your radio to receive or if you want to put tone squelch in there then that means you're sending a tone and when that repeater transmits back to you, your your radio requires a tone to open the squelch. So, okay, so I'll go ahead and delete those two since we're not really going to use those. Um, okay, the next thing I wanted to show you here on this software is I wanted to show you the menu settings. Now, this program here, this allows you to look at some of the various settings and stuff you can for example one thing that i learned was you can actually uh, pick up your 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 function buttons you know those four function buttons that you see on the bottom of the display on the fta 991a those function those buttons are are pre-programmable or, or, or selectable here and you can actually go in and pick anything you want here uh, for example I, on ssb i like to leave function button one is, is meter and number two is digital noise reduction now i'm going to try shift out a little bit the shift actually allows you to shift left to right of the center frequency i'm going to try that maybe there'll be some, some propagation tonight we might be able to pick something up so i'll have that on the radio when i actually film on the radio uh, am of course has its same thing so when you whatever you pick for these this will be f1 F2, F3, and F4. So these these are deterministic by the mode. So a single sideband has this setting, AM has this setting, FM has this setting, and so forth. And you, and you can change them anywhere in here. So then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save this. Now the last thing I'll show you here um, is when we're done with this, we'll go ahead and save as and I'm going to save it as file number 10 because that's the most current file that I've created. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save here and replace it. And that's it. Um, that's all I wanted to show you. Uh, one thing I do want to make a change here. Uh, we actually have a C4 FM repeater here in town. And one of the things I'm going to do is I've got AMS turned on my radio right now for this particular repeater. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the default mode back to FM. And the reason that is is because right now if someone transmits in, in C4FM, my radio automatically is going to switch to C4FM because I have AMS mode turned on. And I have not figured out if my radio is sitting in C4FM, I have not figured out how to change it back to FM and the only way if I go into the mode function and change it to FM then it switches to VFO so I haven't figured that out yet so what I'll do is um, 
I'll go ahead and change that back to FM. Now this way, this way, whenever the uh, if someone trans transmits to me in C4 FM, uh, I should be able to uh, go back to uh, FM mode. So hopefully that'll work. So we'll give that a try. If someone trans transmits to me in C4 FM, um, automatic mode selected. Um, I think that'll work. We'll give that a try. If it doesn't work, we'll, we'll figure it out. So, all right, well, that's everything. Um, like I said, this is the video purpose. Of this video was just to go over the uh, FTA 991A programmer software and the built-in function going to the settings menu of the actual menu settings. So you can go through here. Now, the last thing I'll show you, then I'll go ahead and wrap this up, is when you send the radio to your, get ready to send it to your radio, you'll want to make sure that you have both memory channels, which is what you see here, and you also want to make sure you have menus here. So whatever you have here, um, what you see right here, um, Let's just go ahead and cancel that. So what you see here where it says menus, when you when you send the data to the radio, you want to make sure that's clicked also. So we'll go ahead and cancel. All right, well, that's everything uh, for this video. Uh, we'll make some more. I just thought I would do this one real quick and uh, kind of give you an idea. A little bit about the, the programming of the frequencies and also setting up some of the uh, some of the uh, some of the external menus functions that you have with the radio. Okay, sounds good from KF5JUF73.